The Falklands is arguably one of the world's most windiest countries, if not the windiest. But this isn't necessarily bad news. Where there is wind, there's a wind turbine, and it's these that are providing a source of renewable energy to large parts of the island. Sheffield University researcher John Samanic Leary has for the last four years been investigating these small wind turbines as a solution to electrify in rural areas. His research has seen him travel as far as Nepal, Nicaragua, Peru, Ethiopia, Scotland and now the Falklands. So I've come to the Falklands because the Falklands is one of the windiest places in the entire world. Um, believe it or not, we're here in the low wind season. It actually gets even windier here in, in the summer. Um, I'm here to, to talk to farmers like Tony and um, people that have been involved with the development of small wind power here on the island because small wind power here has been much more successful than many of the other places that I've visited and I want to see how, how this has managed to be achieved. Um, I've come, to, I've come to speak to people that have been using the energy, that have been using small wind turbines to provide electricity to their farms and to their homes and see what impact it's had on their lives. Wind turbines have been present here on the island since the 1930s and even after the invention of the diesel generator, many homes still turn to the wind turbine as a reliable source of energy and one of these homes is Estancia. So obviously we can hear the wind turbine. Can you just explain why it's actually here and how useful it is to, to, to Estancia? Well, we were a, a, an experimental farm for in 1993, I think. So, so they put it here, but, but, but before that, we had frigged around with wind power for, for years for little wind turbines to charge batteries for camp education and with, for our children's education. And then we had the opportunity to have this experimental station put in. It, it isn't what you see today. It was only a small wind turbine and uh, 750 kilo, uh, uh, watts, 750 watt one. And that's a 2.2 kilowatt one now. And it's been very successful ever since it's put in. We've had one breakdown, an, an inverter, something went wrong with one of the inverters once. It was off line for about, I don't know, four months or something like that, which we missed it. A lot more so the wife. She she really missed it because you you know we we've got now we have 20 uh, have power on switch the, switch the switch on you have power whenever you want to. But before we just had to rely on a generator, and we only run it for four or five hours a day. And in and uh, in the winter time be a bit more of course. But now now we we have power all the time. One of the main reasons small wind power has been so successful here is down to the economics of it. The government were able to provide a grant to farms here, enabling them to purchase a wind turbine at 70% subsidy, making it cost effective and an overall success. What I've discovered is that one of the reasons why small wind turbines work so well obviously is the wind resource, I knew that before coming here, but another reason is because of the support that it's had, the, the infrastructure that's been established to maintain these wind turbines. So um, as you'll see in the farm here at Estancia, there are many other mechanical machines, Land Rovers, um, all, sorts of, all sorts of other pieces of machinery that people such as Tony already know how to fix. So a wind turbine is really nothing new. Uh, many of the components in the wind turbine, the, the tower, the bearings, all sorts of things like this are, are things that um, Tony and other farmers here on the Falklands are already familiar with. So whereas in other countries you're essentially starting from scratch, having to teach people about their components as well as the, the wind turbine itself, here a lot of that knowledge is already here. This has been one of the best case studies that I've, I've done. Um, I've only been here for two weeks, but I've learned an incredible amount in the time that I've been here. Um, I've managed to speak with, with over 30 different people and managed to get around to at least 10 different farms and the amount that I've learned about why small wind power works in this particular local context has, has, been, has been incredible. Yeah, I've really, I've enjoyed my time here. It's been great speaking to people and finding out what life is like in this very rural part of the world. And it's refreshing to see a, a, a place where small wind is, is a viable solution for electrifying rural areas. All of John's research sourced here in the Falklands will be shared with a global community that spans over 25 countries with the aim of increasing sustainability of small rural electrification initiatives around the world. To keep up to date with all of John's research, 
please visit his blog at www.thewindyboy.wordpress.com.